What is up you guys? Tristan here, Ingram Morgan to More. And today I thought I would show y'all uh, a demonstration on uh, repotting, all right, well, it is repotting a ginormous or a specimen sized plant. So I have here a Myrmicocatlia Memoria Louise Fuchs that is a, uh, a primary hybrid between a Catlia species, I forget which one, it's one of the bifoliates, crossed with Myrmecophylla, Tibicinus or Grandiflora, one of those two. I had one in a big, big basket and, well, let me just show you. It's been sitting in a hanging basket for quite a while now and I should have had it on video but I've already excavated the old rotten wooden basket. The wooden basket was completely rotten and it came away quite easily and I pulled away most of the old media um, and I was going to put it in one of these pots and you can see all my, my cypress here. Uh, but I broke the pot and so I figured you know what I got to redo it now So I might as well make a video about it and you're probably wondering yourself. What's up with the pile of sticks? Um, especially when I like to use lava rock so much uh, I had a bunch of cypress pieces from a, uh, a friend of mine had one of their bald cypress come down uh, In one of the hurricanes a couple years ago, and I had some extra pieces And so I decided to just cut them up and just use them as fill this plant really will just grow in just about anything um, and I've grown a lot of stuff on cypress mounts before and with cypress mulch and I figured just raw pieces of cut cypress would probably work pretty good uh, and that way I can get rid of it so that's the only reason I chose to do that but you can see I, I cracked the pot when I was doing it so I got a new pot hopefully we can uh, do it this time without destroying this pot these are identical sizes um, so yeah I'm going to do my best to try and film this process. It might end up being a, a little, I might end up not getting everything in, in, uh, in film that I want to, because I'm doing this by myself today, but I will show y'all. The first thing we're going to do is just get all these sticks, put them in our new pot. And like I said, you, you could absolutely do this with lava rock. Memoria Louise Fuchs is a, uh, a real weed. We call it a yard orchid because you can grow it out in just about full sun since it is half shambo or shamburki is no longer an accepted genus uh, it's half myrmecophylla so we're just gonna take all of our sticks our cypress sticks if you had some um, red cedar you could do this with red cedar but these pieces of cypress were a little too small to mount on. So I figure I use them for this. Really, all I'm gonna do is just basically set this on here and I have a stake running through it. I'm gonna set it on here, try and get it to sit center and then we'll call it a day. It'll be real easy. I may end up putting a piece of wire over it I haven't decided yet just to make it a little bit more stable while it while it roots but like I said you can grow these things on just about anything I don't imagine this plant's gonna have too much it's not gonna fuss too much about this so I will set this up and see if I can get it done and let y'all watch done here is I've just got left a larger piece of cypress as a stake and run it right through the center of the plant and that's going to help keep it a little bit stable while it's rooting. So I've just got a stake here to run through the center of the plant and there are some gaps here that you can see. I'm just going to use those extra chunks of, uh, of cypress, cypress halves there. 
and if I need to, I will resort to adding some pieces of lava rock. after some extra lava rock to fill in the gaps. It's not the prettiest job I've ever done in the world, but it will work. Like I said, this plant, you know, I consider it a yard orchid. I mean, it's got a lot of spots, sunburn, all sorts of yucky bulbs and stuff, but this thing is just a, a monster in a weed. It blooms all the time and it's beautiful. It smells pretty good too. You can tell the deer have chewed on it. Got some split leaves from getting high wind. I'm sure the squirrels probably take a chunk out of it every now and then. Yeah, our friggin' deer. They just love to chew on everything. But there you there you go. Some lava rock around the gaps. And I did leave quite a bit of the root system. I didn't mess with it too much, just pulled off what was loose. Um, if this was a, a different type of cat layer or something. I probably would have been a little bit more severe with my cleaning. But like I said, since this guy lives in the yard and it's so tough, I just left quite a bit of it in place. So only time will tell. We will see how well it roots. Probably leave it right here for now. It used to live over there where that desert rose is. I ain't got all day morning sun until about three o'clock and then it got a little bit of shade. But there you have it guys. Repotting a monster. Uh, I made it as easy as possible. You could get as uh, fancy with this as you wanted. Make it a little bit more time consuming to make it look a little bit nicer. But this will do for now. So thanks for watching guys. And hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you later. Bye.